Freya is a, a distributed computing engine. Um, I won't spend too long on it because, you know, really we're here to talk about Nix, but it, it has got a very good play in Nix. You know, it was built for enterprise blockchain, AI, machine learning, high performance computing. Uh, and the premise was to effectively leverage CPU and GPUs, whether that be a consumer, um, you know, with a gamer or whether that be enterprise kit in a data center, you know, we are able to ability to broker all of that. Um, and the, the distributed rendering is the real core piece there. So we use a rendering engine called Blender. It's open source, it's widely used. And there's a lot of rendering going on for movies, but actually what we started to talk about was you know, how do we join the dots, right? Investors want to invest in a portfolio of companies. Yes, they'll invest in one, but if you're lucky enough or strategic enough to create a portfolio where you're able to join the dots and link, well, just increases your investability hundredfold, thousandfold. So what we looked at doing was all of the rendering gets done on the local GPU. So at the moment, there is a limitation that if a, you know, a consumer, uh, someone attending the gig doesn't have a decent GPU or a dedicated GPU, uh, they won't get a bad experience. They just won't get that absolute experience. And, and there's ways to cover that with partnering with someone like Google Stadia to give everyone a high performance GPU. So you democratize that experience for everyone. But where, where the real cleverness with Freya comes in is, you know, there are 5G applications that have been talked about for a number of years, but with 5G now exploding, everyone's really trying to leverage that high fidelity stream. So if you have a high performance rendering engine and then high fidelity streams, you're going to just transform the way AR and VR is delivered. There's never a stage where someone turns their head and there's latency and a loss of experience, it's seamless and dynamic. So... There is a whole idea around edge computing, um, which is again really big, you know, has a big play with 5G about how could we go about giving someone a mobile experience because mobile screens are getting better and better and better. The refresh rates are getting better. If we're able to offload the rendering to Freya and leverage, let's just say a pool of high performance GPUs, well, actually we can take a whole load off the device. We can then stream that and create Nix mobile and you can have a full VR experience on a mobile phone. So you know, the, the Nirvana, the strategy uh, is conceptual. We haven't done it yet, so I can't sit here and say this absolutely works the way you intended. But you've got to have a vision, right, before you can actually achieve something. You have to have a goal to work towards.